everyone plays one little bit and they stop and they click and they're like, oh, the loop's terrible. Your click point, your click point is the most important thing. Don't stop. You need to cross the finish line. What is the easiest way for me to explain how to loop successfully? I think I have it. I think I do. Welcome back to another episode of Guitar Fundamentals on Stitch Method. Uh, you might notice right away, whoa, Ian, you have an electric guitar in your hand. Well, because we're talking about looping. And so to loop, I need my looper and my electric guitar. So let's get down to it. The most important piece of learning how to click properly, excuse me, is the click point, your click point. And what is a click point? It's where you click your looper. So as for loopers, I have a very simple looper. I have a ditto looper. It does one job, it loops. It is built like a tank. I highly recommend it. Very easy to use. Click it to start, click it to loop, hold it down, it clears it out. Very simple. The difference between a looper and a loop station is a looper just loops what you're doing. A loop, sta a loop station, you can save multiple um, tracks. You sometimes can add drums and stuff, but um, right now, just a looper is all I have and that's all I need. And uh, just to let you know, the key to making a good loop, sorry, not the key, but it's important to make a good loop because if you can, then you become even more attached to the music you're soloing over. So I do highly recommend you trying your best to create really good loops and, and get you in the music making process. It's always fine to listen to the backing tracks, but if you make your own loop, you're aware of where every little chord changes. And if you do it really well, you can feel it and it just helps you get you know closer to the music. All right, blah, blah, blah. How do we loop? Well, the answer is click points, where you click your looper. It is that simple. And I did a live feed a long time ago. It's lost in the annals of stitch method somewhere about how to do a loop. So this is a professional presentation. When you are looping, you are trying to get the very first note of your loop tied back to the very first note of your loop. A lot of people, a lot of my students, they go to loop and they'll play a chord progression, like they'll go click, click, and you're not gonna get a good loop. Let me show you, okay? I have a picture, by the way, this. The picture of the uh, of the looper is not of my foot because I wear sandals. My foot has these weird tan lines, so probably gonna have my son click it. But the visual is what helps. So check us out. What not to do is this: one, two, ready, and click. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Click. Okay, that's not a loop. There's gonna be a big, huge space there. Oh, I. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. I let, I didn't even click it, but you'll see what I'm saying. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, great. And then the loop's gonna start again at some point in time, and you don't have a good loop. Your click point, your click point is the most important thing. You wanna click and breathe through your very first note again. That's the key. A nice stable rhythm, and then clicking right through the very first note. Um, and also, you know, teaching yourself how to be coordinated enough to strum the guitar and click. And sometimes that's a challenge. So you have to pick which foot works best with your strumming hand. If you're strumming with your right and you can click with your left foot, great. If you're strumming with your right and need to click with your right foot, that's great. As long as you can coordinate that, uh, excuse me, coordinate that. So let me show you what I mean. Um, I'm gonna show you, here's my loop. A, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, click right there. Don't stop playing. Play through your very first chord again and click as you go through it. Now listen for the difference. This is the coordination factor. You have to click while you're going, while you're starting again. So listen and feel the difference. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, click. Okay, so you can see the key, it's very simple. The key to a good loop 
is to literally loop your chord progression. Don't stop. Everyone plays one little bit and they stop and they click and they're like, oh, the loop's terrible. And so, yes, you have to count your rhythms out and you have to have a steady rhythm. That's cool. You know, that's always good to practice. But the key to a really good loop is just to start again and click through the start. Don't stop. You need to cross the finish line. And a lot of people think the finish line is playing the riff and saying, okay, when the riff is done, I'll click it. And there's a big gap there. Let's try it one more time with just another type of chord progression or a riff. How about a riff? Okay, I'll do a riff and another chord progression. So how about an easy riff like? And that's just, you know, a G to an A power chord. To a C power chord. And it starts again here. Okay, so now. I'm gonna uh, train myself. So this is the start. 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 And then I can keep on playing, but I gotta click where the start is. So here we go. One, two, ready, go. Click. Click. There it is. Look, Ma, no hands, right? Start. I'm clicking. You click right through the beginning. It is that simple. It is as simple as I can explain it. And so you have to, you know, if you need to play a riff over and over again, just to feel the momentum of it, and then learn how to coordinate your, 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 um, your foot and your hand to, you know, strum through the guitar and click at the same time, take your time. But this is, this is where you need to do it. All right, so I'll do one more uh, chord progression. Let's see, um, <laughs> what can I do? Okay. C, G, F, C. So I, I would click there. And then I click again. So let's see if I can do it. Right, right through that first beat. One, two, ready, and click. Click. Ooh. It's good. It's off by a millisecond. To be honest, my actual rhythm was inconsistent there. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do it one more time. One, two, ready, and good, good. And the truth is, you're not gonna win them all, right? Now there are plenty of cool artists out there who loop live on stage in real time, and God bless them. That is that is some confidence right there. And the only way that they got confident enough to go on stage with several loopers and just loop their stuff and play is by practicing this, getting it right, getting it wrong, learning from that click point. Your click point is the most important piece of the puzzle. Make it happen as you strum through the beginning again. Go make loops. If you want to practice with me on Patreon, I have like two or three videos of creating different loops. I write the riff, I show you the click point, and you can do that. I'll stop talking or rock and roll, and thank you so much for being here. I'll see you on another episode of Guitar Fundamentals. Bye-bye.